Hey artists, let's talk about the social issue painting unit. For your painting project challenge, you will create a painting about a social issue that uses color expressively. You must use text to address your social issue. So text is words. You have to include words somewhere in your painting. You must fill the entire nine by 12 canvas. And you must demonstrate skill and control of paint. What do you think a social issue is? Look carefully at those two words and make your best guess. So if you break it down, social is anything that applies to groups of people. And an issue is simply a topic. So therefore, a social issue is a topic, typically a problem, that affects many people within a society. Some examples might be something like climate change or racism or depression. What others can you think of along those lines? Your turn on your worksheet, write at least three ideas of social issues or causes you care deeply about. Here are my examples. Now, you can't copy the example that is written on the paper, pancreatic cancer. That's also my example. Nor should you really copy one of these examples unless you can really justify your personal connection and why you care. Being social issues, they are things that could apply to large groups of people and other people besides just myself. So I care about pancreatic cancer because of a personal experience I had with pancreatitis. I care about food insecurity or hunger because I grew up poor and my family got food from food banks. I care about climate change because I really love nature and I want my children to be able to experience clean, pure nature and not destroyed environments. And I care about animal cruelty because I'm a pet owner. Take a minute to write your own ideas. So when you start to turn these ideas into images, there are a few options for how you can approach it. The best option, I think, is to tell people what to do by showing the solution. So on the left side, you have adopt a pet, save a life. The person's holding the dog's paw because they are adopting the dog and saving them from being euthanized, which means killed in a shelter. On the right-hand side, change a light is the brightest idea to one of our... Um, CFL bulbs is the most uh, efficient way to use electricity and produce light. So you're showing the solution to a problem. Another option that is also very good is just to tell people what to do by showing them the problem. You're essentially making them feel bad. So on the right hand side, you have wipe out bullying. The hand is using a sponge to clean off this image of the one boy punching the other, uh, committing bullying wherever. On the left-hand side, might take you a little longer to decode if you're not aware of what these words or this issue is about, but it's got the word infantry, which refers to troops, and the word infant is highlighted to show that the person standing there is a child. So in some conflicts around the world, children are recruited or forced into acting as soldiers and are forced to kill others in order to save their own lives. You can imagine why this might be a problem. And therefore, this image is trying to raise awareness and make people feel bad by looking at it. You can also just create awareness with facts. So on the left, self-injury is a cry for help. You have some statistics about people who hurt themselves and a number to call for help. You're creating awareness that it's a problem so that if somebody suffers from it, they feel less alone. Or if you know someone who does, you can reach out for help. Same with on the right. Mental illness affects one in four families. The so one family is highlighted. Therefore, if your family uh, deals with mental illness, you feel less alone and less um, stigmatized. And you can also seek help for others. Your third option, and honestly, your worst option, is to tell people what not to do. We have uh, beer bottles here telling us not to drink and drive. The beer bottles have been turned into a gun, which is going to hurt somebody. I think this is the worst option because, as a teacher, I know that telling people what not to do is usually not effective. Everybody knows you're not supposed to drink and drive, and yet people still do it all the time. 
So while this image is very nice, it is not necessarily the most effective way to get the point across. Your turn. On your worksheet, write possible solutions and facts that could raise awareness about your cause. So here are my examples. One thing you should note is that I did not make up my facts or statistics. You have a search engine at your fingertips. You should search for real facts about your causes to help create awareness and not just try to complete this assignment. Last but not least, your colors matter. Expressive color is when you use color to evoke a specific mood or emotion. So red hearts often uh, give us the sense of love or yellow smiley faces scream happiness to us. These are things that are kind of universally accepted, at least within our American culture, but these color um, associations can change within other cultures. What type of mood or feeling do you get from this painting? What type of mood or feeling do you get from this painting? They were both mainly shades of blue. The one on the left in this example is lighter. The one on the right is brighter. But why do you think most people shared two different moods? So the specific colors we choose in our art can project a certain mood and have a big impact on how our art is interpreted. That's why you have the ability to mix your own colors. Of course, it's not the only element at play. Your lines, textures, movement, they also matter very much in your artwork. But consider deeply exactly what color and colors you use in order to get your point across. Now it's your turn. On your worksheet, write colors associated with your causes. You can do some research, like I looked up the color of pancreatic cancer for fundraisers is purple. Um, or just use your own opinion. So I felt like gray fit well with hunger because people that are hungry might be feeling very gray. Whereas environmental causes are often associated with green, and I felt like red went well with animal abuse because abuse and violence to me says red. Now looking at those three causes, I want you to narrow it down to two. So choose your best two to continue on with. You can cross one of the three out on your worksheet if it helps you and sketch a painting idea for each of your best two. Make sure to either raise awareness, promote a solution, or just tell people what not to do. You need to remember that you have to include some text. You should include some imagery. Consider the colors that you're going to choose, but you do not have to color these just yet. Now choose your best idea of the two and turn to your sketchbook. Make a full page, fully colored sketch of your painting plan. You can see I really care that it's colored because I made a typo and wrote it twice. So, Use that whole page up, it's approximately the size of your canvas, to draw as big as you plan to on your canvas. Make sure you include text, make sure you have imagery, make sure you have your specific colors in mind that you're gonna mix when you paint. Now, before you start, here are some ideas. With my pancreas idea, I have be kind to your pancreas, it can hurt you because I suffered from pancreatitis twice now. And my colors in the background, my starburst is radiating this red pain, this throbbing feeling that happens when you have pancreatitis. And I have an art mannequin there holding the pancreas area of the body. A student example on the right has got some weapons in front of a globe and a color that sort of feels like the end of the world, asking why can't we all just get along? Here we have more examples on the left dealing with body issues, on the right dealing with child abuse. Notice how they've used color to get across a mood or emotion. Notice how they've used text to uh, make you think, ask you a question, and get their message across. These are things I want you to consider doing in your painting as well. So in your sketchbook, full page, fully colored sketch of your painting plan. I can't wait to see it.